Now for the uh, rotor, we've got four parts, basic parts. Got a plain disc here with uh, center hole and four locator holes. Then on top of that will be this gear. It's a 48 tooth gear. Got 12 holes in here for the uh, ball bearings and then of course your center holes and your located locator holes. Now the next one is the same thing except the holes are larger. And then we've got the top piece with larger yet holes. Now the way these will go together is I'll put these little eighth inch locator pins in here. And I've got this one marked small hole. And that'll go on like so. Then the next one is the medium hole, which will go on like so. And then the one with the large hole with no gear. And that's now the secret to the way this is going to work is you'll notice that the holes not only are they bigger from get smaller from front to back but they're also offset and the reason for that is when the ball bearing goes in this bottom hole the bottom portion of that hole is flat all the way back and then as it rotates around to the top the, uh, the hole here gets increasingly larger, which will allow it to roll out. Anyway, this is the, uh, the rotating portion of the belt. Now, next thing I'll do is I'll glue these up. I've got some other locator pins here that will go in. Make sure we're centered. And then I've got a piece of brass tubing with a uh, 3 16 outside diameter. Now a 632 bolt will just fit inside that. So this will be the bushing or the bearing for the uh, for the rotating part. Now I've got the uh, unit glued up here. Got my uh, brass insert in there. Now the next thing is I've got a base that this will sit on. It's seven inches long two and a half inches wide. Uh, now I didn't show cutting any of these parts on the CNC. Uh, you can use a jigsaw or a drill press or whatever. Uh, but I thought I'd skip that step since I've got a lot of videos showing the CNC running and it can get a little boring sometimes. Okay, now I've got this piece made up, 
and this piece. This will go in the front and this will go in the back for support. Now this hole here is raised up 75 thousandths above this one so when the ball bearing goes in there it will drop down slightly and uh, it will drop down slightly into that cavity. Now this top hole is moved down 75 thousand so it makes another step coming out. Now the way this will be assembled is I've got a pin here fits in here then there's a washer that goes on and then the gear unit goes on now I've got a couple of nuts here that I just kind of slip on there as a spacer and then uh, this back piece fits on and they slide, they slide into these slots in this base like so okay and then uh, there's a little piece here that gets glued on the top here to hold the top together and then I've got a little collet here a little collet that'll fit over this pin here in the back Okay, and it turns pretty free. Certainly free enough. And then I also made up another pinion gear here. And this is pressed on a hex shaft. What I'm going to be running this with is a Tamiya 7003 three-speed gearbox set up on the lowest speed but more on that later and it'll motor will be sitting back here and this will engage well that's where we're at now the next thing I'll do is I'll uh, glue these pieces on to the base Okay, I got the frame glued together now. Uh, now I can do a little testing. I've got some uh, 3 8 inch uh, ball bearings here, which I'm using. Now the way this will work is the ball bearing will slide down a ramp and enter the, uh, the hole while this is turning. When it gets up to the top, it'll roll out. And I'll show you hook this up to my drill here. It runs pretty nice. Of course, it won't run anywhere near that fast. You know, it'll probably be about like so. Maybe even slower.
Looking good. The, uh, it seems to track pretty tr true. See if I can turn it towards the camera. So I'm pleased with that. And uh, that pretty much completes the build of the, uh, the base with the addition, with the exception of uh, adding a motor here, uh, switch and a battery. Uh, hence the battery holder I made in a previous video. All right, now uh, I've made a base, main base for it. Uh, it's nine and a half inches long this way and seven inches wide, uh, minus the two and a half here. Gives me a seven by seven work area. And I put in some uh, locator dowels here and here. Got some little screws here to hold this on. And uh, here's the motor. Like I say, that's a Tamaya uh, 7003 three speed motor uh, with the gear box set on the lowest setting. Uh, then here's my battery box. Uh, I didn't have quite enough room. I originally intended to make this wider, so I cut the uh, bottom tabs off, and it fits on there good. Uh, then on top of that, I've got a switch mounted to turn the unit on and off. So now, Turn it on. And it runs. Pop the bearing and marble in there. And it comes out. Uh, you want it to run the other way, you just t take the battery and uh, turn it around and insert it the other way around and it will run uh, counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So, this pretty much concludes the video on uh, building the lifter. Uh, next I'll uh, have a video uh, showing the uh, marble run out here and we'll get into that uh, later on in another video. Thank you. I hope you like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.